Hi, welcome back to Commander Speedy's channel. Um, here I've returned to Alphabet 4 testing. After my last video, we I showed, uh, demonstrated the star map and also a super cruise jump. Um, unfortunately, the um, the game crashed, um, but it appears that I have ended up close to the space station in the end. And in fact, it, there seems to be some bug going on there because it seemed to be a bit jittery then. Let's go and have a look. So I've got no contacts in close range, so let's get close to it. So we're within range now because we've now got a contact. Let's bring our slowest down a bit. Now I actually think that's the wrong side, isn't it? on the wrong side. Still beautiful, I can't get over this space station each time I see them. That's the rotation, but which side is it? done it again, I've gone to the wrong side of this space station, I am silly, or have I? Right, let's go and have a look. Left. Left. Yes, voice activation is working again. So, yes, I think we are on the wrong side. So as you see on the uh, comms channel there, no fire zone entered, so there is a zone around the ship now, gear. Oh, you can hear it, but you can't actually, there's no message to tell us. Gear. Gear. Okay, let's 
out a man this thing. I don't know if you notice there's lots of little holograms advertising the space station. So one of the very pleasing things you would have noticed with the voice control is the fact that Frontier have provided key bindings to the um, land to the landing gear which is extremely useful so we can now finally bind the landing gear I'm being a bit hesitant I'm trying to talk while I fly and I've proven before in some videos that I'm not very good at that what um, Frontier have also provided Bind, new bindings when you're inside the space station so those with joysticks like myself can actually the, the buttons automatically rechange and rebind so it means you can actually put the left right thrusters onto different buttons as you enter the space station which is just such a neat thing to do because it makes piloting and landing so much more intuitive now Here we are, successful landing. So what can we do in the space station? Well, we can do lots of things. We can buy things, we can trade. So here we are within Asban City. Now I had, I had products in my, um, products that I wasn't aware of that I'd collected. So let's go to the markets. And here we go. Now, what I've heard right now so far is that this is more of a placeholder for these screens rather than the definite last way of trading. Um, it's more for a functional point of view. Still looks nice. Right, so I have some animal monitors. I don't know where they've come from or how I've got them, but I'm quite happy to sell them. And I had something else in my cargo hold as well. So, within the shipyard, you can now buy an eagle and a lacken. So it looks like there appears to be lots of different ships now. Well, I've heard there's five. Whether that's correct or not is a different matter. Obviously, we've still got the outfitting around the, the ship. Ooh, I've got a loaned pulse laser. I don't know why that's loaned. Ah, so you can't sell it. Yeah, so I don't have enough money for buying anything, which is a real shame. So, one of them contacts. So we do have a black market. So I want to sell my illegal goods. So obviously what I had in my cargo hold was illegal. How can possibly be tea? Oh! Okay, so they're making tea illegal here. That's bizarre. And I've got one in my hold. I don't know how I got that. Ah, so I don't want to sell that. The buy price is... No, I don't want to sell it for 185 That would be really, really silly. Okay, so I want to keep the tea. Now, I have played a couple of uh, sessions of this where it's crashed and played, and there was a point at which there was some cargo flying around in one of the space stations, and I thought I'd scooped it up. So maybe I did, and maybe I'd scooped up a couple of other things I wasn't aware of. So, yes. So I've got uh, I've got one um, illegal car, car, piece of cargo in my hold, but we want to go off and fly somewhere else and sell. So this is an agricultural site.
and the trade that I did the other day, or yesterday, sorry, was grain. So I'm just going to buy some. It's not going to give me a great profit, but the idea is I want to just show you, hopefully, flying from one system to another and making a trade. So let's get out of it. Okay, so we're going to, so the first thing I'm going to do is make sure my weapons are calibrated in the fire groups, just in case I meet somebody along the way because I don't have much money. And then secondly, I want to go to the star map. And my joystick isn't quite configured as well as I'd like. We're going to go back to a set. Acellus Primus. So I want to lock the destination and I'm going to leave hopefully the space station do a super cruise over to the other system go and find the space station land and then sell my goods and hopefully make just a tiny bit of profit. Now yesterday there was a bug yesterday in which I was on the uh, launch pad like this and it, it would it said I was released and nothing happened, I was just stuck. So hopefully this will allow me to launch in a minute. Hey, and I can leave. Okay. This is an important cargo scoop are retracted as well as your weapons. And then we can go for a super cruise to where I need to go. So I've left the no zone fire. So let's go and find out where I've got to fly to. So we're flying the other side, right, we're gonna super cruise. Oh, I'm mass locked by the uh, space station. So let's put some distance between me and the space station. And then this is where we're going into Super Cruise. And I'm into Super Cruise. Now I want to bring it around to wherever we're heading for. Now, as you get closer, you'll see. Um, initially, I wondered what was going on when I was flew into Super Cruise, and that's the lines around space, and that's actually the planet's uh, trajectory, which is really good when you get close. So. It wasn't what I was expecting and I thought all these lines, what the hell do they all mean? Is it ships, other ships flying around? No, it's actually the uh, the path that the planets circulate around the stars, etc. So in the super cruise, as you're flying towards whichever system you're going to, you end up flying to the, the key star first and then as you enter that air, that system, you then, then need to very carefully navigate to the individual planet or um, either planet or space station that you're actually heading for. Now as you can see on the uh, bottom left, by the to the left of the planet, you can see the speed I'm heading at and the distance I am away. This seems to be taking a long time to actually uh, fly towards today. Drop us out of Super Cruise. So speed now allows me to drop out. And I'm going to go to the and see whether yes, we can engage a hyperdrive. I've been daft. I've gone into uh, 
Drive charging. Drive charging. I want to go on a hyperspace drive rather than a super cruise. Otherwise, we're going to be here forever. That's me being a bit started off. Now, this effect is just beautiful. As it comes out of this effect, you'll actually enter super cruise. Ready to engage. Ready to engage. Warning. Delta critical three. This is where we used to have the static shit rotating. This is now beautiful. Now, I've got no control here at this point, and then it jumps out of the hyper space. It's just beautiful. Oh, and then you end up in hyper super cruise, and then you want to avoid the sun. You obviously don't want to get too close to it. As we're here, I want to go to the star map. And I want to go to Beagle 2 landing. So there we go, we're heading towards it. And this is where the super cruise works nicely. So we've done a hyper jump in, then you end up at, you, the hyper jump in brings you out at super cruise. So obviously you can then super cruise to one of the planets within the star system. So. It took me a, long, a good few hours last night to figure out what was going on, but now it's quite obvious how to, do, how to actually fly this and how to fly between the, uh, between the planets and the systems. My worry is, is uh, yesterday two Cobras pulled me out of Super Brews, so you ended up in like that witch space that you used to have in the, first, the original Elite. Uh, which was fine, but one little laser against two Cobras, I had no chance. By the time I went to try and jump out again, I was taken out. Because obviously you get, um, you have to put some distance between you and those other ships because of uh, the mass lock again. So we want to start bringing the speed down as we get closer to uh, Beagle 2. And this is why it's key to do the hyper jump rather than the super cruise between the massive jumps, as you can say, between the light years. And by bringing down the speed, you'll actually see on the bottom left hand side, to the left of the hologram of the planet, you've got the nice panel there that gives you some details. There, it will tell you whether you can safely jump out of the cruise. So being patient, whilst trying to get as close as I can, as quickly as I can. with uh, rings for another video I believe you can fly right through the rings but I won't be doing that today or in this video I just want to try and do some trading just to show you yes it's possible to go trading I've heard it's not the optimum way to make money there's other ways you can fly into uh, disputed areas and very much like the combat bonds of Alpha 3.4 you can make money that way Clearly that requires you to be good with um, a single laser just to earn some money. Now I'm looking for the um, message to say it's now safe to jump out of a super cruise without flying past. And the speed is coming down. He's telling me now that I'm getting too close to the planet at the speed I'm flying at. And you can see all those little lines I was talking about earlier on about being the, the path of the planets as they orbit the uh, star. 
to the right hand side you can see that beautiful set of rings around the planet. No, oh, so I've got that wrong. So you're into the normal speed. I think I'm still too far out. I've made a mistake there. Drive charging. Drive charging. So I'm going to go back into Super Cruise. Ready to engage. Ready to engage. Four, three, you got to be careful, two, so the Super Cruise one, does need to ship up. So you do have to be careful with it. Ah, so I'm too close to the planet. That's what the problem, it was the planet I was too close to. Oh, I've done it again. Okay, anybody watching this, do tell me what I'm doing wrong. I keep flying towards it. It'll take forever flying at this pace. Drive charging. Maybe it's because I was flying directly to it and I'm going to fly past it. Four, three, two, one. It really doesn't like me doing that. Now I'm getting no closer. Right, so I need to fly into open space. Drive, charge, and then sweep round, I think. Four, three, two, one. So let's put some distance from us. Alright, so I need to look at the proximity alert. So that's going to tell me what's going on. better. Oh, I'm closing in very big time now. Okay. Some thousands of kilometres. That's better. So I want to come out of the jump in a minute. So obviously I was flying too closely to the planets or even travelling to Beedle too quickly. That's quite a possibility. As you imagine, last night I just couldn't figure out what was going on being very late at night. Going further away than getting closer to it. What's happening? Drive charging. Ready to engage. Ready to engage. Four, three, two, one. One day. 
be a lot easier than this. So I do apologise. It is a learning thing. As I said earlier on on my other video, this is the point I think at which it engages the server just to see who's in local space. Yeah, and it's all gone quiet, so I'm hoping it's not going to break. Hey, and we're at the other space station. So there you go. So that's how you super cruise. Nothing on my radar at the moment. Which way is it rotating? The uh, radar was uh, misaligned with the um, icon with the line. That didn't look very good. Looks like a little bug to me. My throttle keeps sticking, I don't know why. Air slipping. Right. Request granted. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Into the no fire zone. So this is the slowest um, piece of trading you'll ever see. <laughs> so once I've mastered that super cruise, it should be much better. The only problem with these starting ship with Sidewinder, you can only actually hold four canisters effectively, which is really annoying, so you can't do much in terms of holding uh, lots of stock to go and sell and make big profits from the start, but I guess it, that's how we all started with the original leap. with the uh, landing. So as you can tell I'm uh, quite comfortable now with flying and zooming in and uh, putting the wheels down. So here we are, we're at the special second space station. Let's go and try and sell those illegal uh, goods and make some money. So under contacts. Ah, oh, brilliant, there's no black market. So does that mean it's based on the type of system that we're in that you can sell tea? And there we... And my cargo's not showing up, it's tea. So there you go, I'm gonna sell what I bought. And I bought it at 80 and I sell it at 118, so I'm making 38 for each one. Uh, and because there's no black market here, you can't actually sell the tea. So even though I've got tea in my hold, that now makes sense. Because there's no black market, I've got no criminal record, because there's no black market, you can't actually sell what you want to sell. Yes, so I obviously now need to fly somewhere that um, deals with um, the black market. 
So that's the first taste of a proper trade starting from one system to another with both a hyper jump and the super cruise. I hope you find that useful. I'm going to carry on playing this um, and hopefully do some more recording. But this is Commander Speedy signing out.